guys, it's Chris Girnor on the forums. I'm back. I had a uh, nice long week long vacation and I figured I'd get back into the groove and things. It's Monday morning, so I'm going to start with the video for you guys. And uh, so today's stuff is going to be I've got a very nice Rudy Vey uh, tuxedo synthetic here. I've got my Feather AC SS Shavette. Got my Razor Rock Game Changer with Barber Pole. For the soap today, I'm going to be using Sudsy Soapery's uh, Citrus and Bay, one I haven't used in a little while, but I like a lot. Uh, the face feel and whatnot, and the lather. And then to close things up, I've got my homemade Brute Aftershave. So I've already got my brush wetted up a little bit. Today's not a shower day, so I've been wetting my face occasionally. There's that. A little bit more water on the brush. And we'll start the load. So yeah, I spent about a week away from Sunday afternoon till Saturday evening um, on vacation. It was really nice. It was our entire family, a once a year kind of thing. And uh, every year our church I live in California. Our church goes to a coastal trip um, in the Santa Cruz area. I live in California. And um, it's kind of a, for us, a once a year getaway. We spend some time with each other, real nice. Um, other than this trip and my. Uh, My wife and I getting away once a year um, to the Carmel area. This is our only family vacation that we get to have, so it's a treat. But we do it with the church, like I mentioned, and we'll see what that does. We do it with the church, and it's a really good time. We. Uh, some of this on my face. We spent it at this camp called Mission Springs, and it's in Scotts Valley. It's uh, it's got like cabins and like the meals are pretty much all you can eat. They're like buffet style. And, um, plenty of planned activities for the week. Get a little bit of Bible teaching. Our uh, speaker this year was a guy local to the area in California, in the Santa Cruz area, named Renee Schlepfer. Um, really good speaker, really engaging, really good messages. We have about an hour every morning where we listen to the messages and. Um, then we split up into smaller groups, little walking groups or sitting groups because it's in a nature area. So some want to explore a little bit more than others. There's some hiking groups. But in any group you are, there are groups of about eight folks. Depending on how people feel, you don't have to do it. The week is totally yours to spend as you will. But my wife and I led a walking group walks around the camp area and just discuss about the message we heard it's really uh, a good time of uh, time with the spouse because the kids have their own programs 
time with church friends and time spent learning some uh, more spiritual matters which I feel is an important thing important part of my life oops Pretty thick, but one thing I noticed about the brushes I got from Dave is that what I thought was initially going on, where the uh, Rudy Vey Shave Mac was holding on the scents and whatnot, and the synthetic was not. It's actually kind of flip flopped. The Rudy Vey uh, bristles, at least, are now scentless, which is interesting. Because I figured they'd absorb more scent and this is hanging on to some scent so it's doing some flip-flopping I'm trying to work with them both uh, use them up plenty so hopefully they both drop scents but some more water on there it's kind of thick but anyway yep week there spend a couple days at the beach and uh, what else? There's always Mary Ann's ice cream. We went there a couple times. First pass with the feather. This has, uh, I think this is the eighth shave on it. I changed all my blades when I went on vacation. So Mary Ann's ice cream is always a classic. Yeah, it's not all hype. They have a ton of great flavors, very unique stuff. I always like getting the 1020. And then pairing that with another kind of flavor that sounds interesting that I haven't tried. 1020 is probably my favorite. It's like a caramel ice cream with Oreo bits and fudge or something. I don't know, whatever it is, it's good. So Mary Ann's, the beach. Uh, we did spend some time just at the camp hanging out uh, after the teachings and whatnot. We had a, like I mentioned, the kids have their own programs. So like there's a elementary and kindergarten program Two of my kids are in the elementary program, and there's a junior high program, high school, college, all those different groups. I have a, my oldest in the junior high, and uh, so one of the nights was a junior high kids versus junior high parents. Kind of different challenges and games on the center grounds. Parents won. We usually do. Uh, this year, uh, in the years past, we kind of crushed them, <laughs> I want to say, and, and there's been some rejections to that for good reason. I guess when you go to church camp, you don't exactly think of giving your children a crushing defeat as a positive thing. Um, but even though we did win again this year, the parents, um, it was much more even. Anybody really could have taken it. And uh, nobody got sent to the hospital, so that was good. What else? Beach. There's a swimming pool in the complex. Um, we did that a day. They have like splash competitions for the dads and I didn't do it. A lot of the dads there are taller and uh, more solid than I am. I don't make much of a splash I guess. At least not in comparison to the six foot 200 something pound dudes. Um, 
Oh, uh, there is a date night. I posted about that on the forums. Some pictures of uh, not just the beach, but great dinner I had. Went to a place in Pleasure Point. That's what it's called. Right below Capitola. Um, we had a bunch of surf shops and and this stuff is thick. That's all right. It'll water out. Have they got a bunch of surf shops we visited? I picked up a new hat. And we had a nice seafood dinner at a place called Zelda's on the deck. And literally, it's a outdoor restaurant on like a wood deck overlooking the Santa Cruz coast. And it was a nice evening. Some aggressive pigeons bothering us here and there. But it was a good time. Nice little getaway, little date night. I'll wash this off. That's looking a little better. Citrus and Bay is a really nice soap from Sudsy Soapery. I'm glad I got it in Nurse Dave's PIF box. Probably not something I would have bought for myself otherwise or even tried out because it didn't sound interesting. But it's actually a really good soap. And um, it's kind of along the lines of if you tried Tallow and Steel West Indies. Tallow and Steel soaps kind of really pack a punch. And this is along the same lines as that soap, same scent profile, but it's not quite as pungent. The Tallow and Steel one version is was a bit overpowering for me. This is perfect. So and has all the face feel. I'll start my second pass here. Across the grain. So yeah, it was just a good week. My kids yelling in the background about Fortnite or something. They've still got a couple weeks of summer left. They have till the 30th, I think. And in a month. Uh, yeah, so I did shave every morning. Woke up nice and early, which is odd for me for vacation. I usually like to sleep in. I didn't want to miss out on the shaves. So, my gear for for that, for the travel trip, was uh, my feather, of course, and then instead of taking the game changer, I took uh, my Gillette Slim and kept that on setting two all trip. And uh, my soap was a La Toha travel stick. Really solid soap, really good shave stick. Uh, I took, ended up taking my uh, Art of Shaving Genuine Badger brush. If you remember a video or two ago, I had talked about trying to decide which one. So I didn't want to take my Body Shop Synthetic which is like harsh and the most basic of basic brushes. Not a pleasant experience overall.
And that uh, took those items and then to clean it up every day. A nice healthy dose of fine platinum. It was very pleasant shaves. Good way to start every day. Even if it was six something in the morning. Well worth waking up for. I'm being able to feel that the rest of the day. So that's my uh, second pass. I wash this off real good. Um, I've seen some questions pop up on various forums uh, about how to take care of your feather shavettes. Personally, I just make sure it's washed off every after every pass. Um, I don't take the blade out until I'm ready to change it, uh, not even to clean it. I only do my cleaning once there's a blade change. But there's this uh, uh, little, like, I don't know, crack right here where uh, the blade change happens where you can separate out the front part of the uh, razor and uh, it also helps pinch the blade there but I make sure this is blown out and washed out thoroughly make sure the blades washed off thoroughly and um, then I just kind of strop it on the towel and no stains yet no issues um, blades generally last about 15 or more shaves I make it last that long um, I know some peaks people get a lot less like five or something like that but that's what I do for mine haven't had any problems yet I'm gonna do that now literally I just blow into the separation and knock out whatever air is in there a little bit of towel stropping to get that edge as good as possible before it room dries for the rest of the day not too bad, make sure there's no soap buildups. Because if anything will cause problems, it's a soap buildup. There's that, and there's the second pass. Alright. Lather up for the final pass here. It's a game changer. for a haircut. Hopefully I'll get that in this evening. But that was the week. It's really nice, relaxing. There was a couple of bumps here and there with child attitude things. Some rough moments. But at the end of the week it all Turned out just fine. Everybody enjoyed themselves. And uh, we got back safe. And now it's time to get back into the groove of stuff. Alright. Final pass. Game changer. What else is going on? Bingo's over. Chad won that one. Congratulations, Chad. That was uh, quite an experience. Looking forward to the next round that's happening here. Sounds like the rules are going to drop in a day or two. And got some exciting, an exciting different rendition of Bingo that Chad's going to try and Get us to participate in what he calls it actual form bingo, which is another version I've never played. This is all new to me. We've played this will be the third time we've played, and it'll be the third different way I've played it. So, <laughs> I mean, other than that's traditional form of 
balls and cards and daubers and all that kind of stuff. But. This razor is one of the very few, I don't know if I've said before, where I can go directly against the grain. Mild enough and efficient enough for both. And usually I don't nick myself. I don't know what I mean. One of the few that can go fully against the grain, I mean mostly in this area. Whoops, there's a little nick right there. But um, this is one of the hardest areas for me to shave. Usually I have to do a uh, modified against the grain where it's like a hybrid pass of across the grain, against the grain. So it would be more like you know this motion instead of this motion. I mean, it still works well doing that hybrid, but the shave just doesn't last as long as a direct against the grain. Alright. You can see it. I caught one little follicle right there. That'll be alright. Because my brute aftershave has some witch hazel and alcohol in it, so that should stop it up if the cold water rinse doesn't. For my DEs, they also get no special privileges. I get a good rinse off, and then after the shave, I'll dip it in uh, like a 75% isopropyl solution. Help uh, whisk away the water, help it dry off better. But, all right, that's third pass. Wash it off here. Not too bad. Could probably chase that a little bit, but it's my day off still, so I'm not going to. I'll leave that for tomorrow. Um, so all my washes so far have been warm water and um, now that the shave's done I'm going to pull the lather off the brush some pretty good stuff there that's really good stuff I get spread back on my face. I get all that good stuff back on my face. It's funny. A week or so ago before we left, I left my YouTube um, account page up on the computer at home. And my wife said, what's this? You're making shave videos now? What's that all about? Who views these? Why are you doing it? So that was a funny conversation. She got a laugh out of it. I'll let that sit for a while. Fortunately, I already did all my laundry work and yard work today. That's one of my duties around the house. So the rest of the day we'll be entertaining the kids having some family time and I'm working on a teaching too for this Sunday. Um, excuse me for a minute while I disappear and I gotta do some lotion stuff. All right, I'm back. So you notice the only thing I did was lotion. You're kind of getting my full routine today. Um, I'm gonna wash my brush out just while this continues sitting on my skin. Um, the reason I do lotion at this stage is it actually is as much for the parts I lotion, like my legs and arms and stuff, which have very dry skin, 
but it gets the lotion on my hands. And that way when I do my final rinse here in a minute with the cold water, um, it just adds extra moisture onto my face and helps keep that from getting too dried out. Alright, here's the brush rinse off. And cold water wash. All right, that's that. There's still a lot of residual slickness on my face, which is good. That's almost entirely from the soap, except for the little bit of uh, moisturizer I had on my hands. One of the reasons that soap is such a good line. Um, now I'll do my aftershave. In case I didn't tell you before, uh, this is homemade. Uh, it's actually the Brute Splash On fragrance that I took uh, because I couldn't find the actual aftershave. So I added some witch hazel, some extra alcohol to the Splash On fragrance. Decanted it. And it makes a really smooth, fresh smelling aftershave. It's not entirely the classic brute scent, but still really nice. And looks like that little weeper where I cut myself is closed up. And we're looking good. So that's it. That's a kind of update for where I've been for the last week. Sorry I missed out on a video. I uh, just circumstances uh, during that last week of vacation didn't allow me to do a travel shave video because I was in like a bunk room where everybody was right there and sleeping and there was really no way to do that. Uh, but I'm back now and hopefully I can keep doing these videos like once a week while I'm able. And uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. And if you're ever in Scotts Valley, Santa Cruz area, definitely check out Mary Ann's. Definitely check out the boardwalk. Oh, Pizza My Heart was another good place. Zelda's on the um, on the deck. Great seafood. And whoops, I accidentally ran out of room just then. <laughs> Sorry for the length of this video. Um, I'm definitely working on trying to keep that down. This one was a little bit longer because I had all that catch up to do. But uh, definitely some great places down in the Santa Cruz area to check out. And of course, as always, come check us out at theshavingcadre.com online. I'm Gear Noor. Nice to see you guys again. Peace.